Hey guys, it's Tony with the Newbie Stutters. Um, it is two in the morning, so you know, let's go ahead and make some refrigerator pickles. Um, I'm kind of a night owl, so it's not super uncommon for me to be up this late. Been like that my entire life. But um, today, the dill you see right there, I actually grew. I harvested it today and I am super excited to use it. It's my first time I've ever grew an herb and I'm able to use it. And I absolutely love dill pickles. I'm actually kind of on like a little mission to find the perfect dill pickle recipe. Um, I've tried making refrigerator pickles before. Once, it didn't really turn out right. One, I don't think I was using like the right combination of spices. And also I wasn't using a pickling cucumber. Now I know you can, t can technically use any cucumber um, to make pickles, but I think specifically the pickling cucumbers, um, absorb it better, I think, because the skin's thinner than, like, a slicing cucumber, so, um, this time I did specifically get pickling cucumbers, so we will see if that works out better, but, yeah, I'm pretty excited, um, I did find this recipe online, I just googled refrigerator pickles and selected one that I thought I might like the most, and the website I got it from is pinchmeimeating.com. I will link her specific recipe in the description because though I'm generally going off her recipe, there are some changes that I'm making. For one, she made everything, or her pickles, and I think the recipe she gives is for specifically one jar, and she made hers in pints, and I'm making mine in quarts. Um, and her recipe calls for, let's see, one fourth ounce fresh dill, a few sprigs per jar, a half cup white vinegar, a half cup water, two, clo two cloves garlic crushed, um, one and a half teaspoons kosher salt. I have canning, pickling canning salt. I think it's the same. I'm not 100% sure. Um, a quarter teaspoon sugar. I will not be including sugar. I've noticed in a lot of recipes I've read, sugar is included, and I'm not, I'm not really sure why. I don't know if that helps do something. I don't know if it helps like kind of make it ferment or um, break down. I, I want it to be dill, I want it to be sour. Uh, so, but I'm gonna leave it out for right now and see how it tastes and maybe later I'll make some with it in. Um, a half a teaspoon of whole mustard seed, a quarter teaspoon of whole black peppercorn. And yeah, and then you're gonna leave it in the refrigerator for 24 to 48 hours, possibly a little bit longer. The longer it stays in the refrigerator, the more like stronger old taste um but keep in mind these are not shelf stable you can't make them and just put them on your shelf and they have to be refrigerated and they will eventually i assume they will eventually go bad um trust me they will not last here long enough to go bad but just keep that in mind if you do decide to make refrigerated pickles for yourself and because mm, her recipe is for a pint jar and I'm using quart. I'm going to double it for each jar and I am going to do something different. Um, the first jar or one of the jars, I'm going to include the mustard seeds and the black peppercorns. I've never used them in anything, so I'm not sure how I'll like them. And then the other one will just have the garlic and dough. And so that way I could taste them to see, you know, which I like better if we're kind of, you know, getting closer to the journey to that perfect pickler recipe or not. So, um, I have already washed my cucumbers. I'm going to get them sliced up into spears now and crush my garlic and get my brine mix ready to go. So I will be back. All right, guys. So I am back. As you can see, I got my cucumbers, um, sliced up into spears. Um, I also made the brine. I just put it back in that jug because I don't have a pitcher to pour the fluid in to the jars because they're all packed up right now waiting for me to move to Michigan. Um, I also peeled and crushed the garlic <clears throat> and I added some sprigs of dill to the bottom of the jars. In the one jar here, I put the mustard seed and the peppercorn in. And then the other one, I just left with the dill and garlic. I am gonna go ahead and start stuffing the spears into the jars now and I will, um, put a few sprigs of dill in between some of the spears and whatnot because I mean can you really have too much dill when you're making dill pickles so I will be back when I am done with that all right I do want to show you guys real quick how I was laying them in here if you can see that I lay them on their side 
and then put the dill in between and it just kind of makes it easier if you lay them on the side to get all the spears packed up. So I will finish this up and I'll be back. All right, guys, I am back. The cucumbers are stuffed. There's a bunch of dill in there. I mean, as you can see, I mean, I use quite a bit of it. Um, honestly, I was kind of hoping there'd be a little bit more cucumbers left because they smell so good. I just want to put some salt on them and dip them in some ranch and eat them. Um, and I was smelled both the jars, you know, as I'm packing them in or whatever. And it's funny, like the brine's not even in them yet. They haven't sat yet to really, you know, start brewing or whatever pickles do to make them pickles. And they already kind of smell like pickles to me. So I'm like really excited. Let's get this brine in and get them capped and get them in the fridge. Oh, one thing that um also something that uh the lady who made the recipe i assume she's lady the person who made the recipe um post online for this um she one of the things that she said to do for the brine um was to warm the water and vinegar and the salt and the spices together in a non-reactive pan and then let it cool i did warm the water vinegar and the salt together i didn't put the spices in it because i only wanted the spices to be in one jar so yeah just want to let you guys know that um, I really recommend you going and checking her site if you want to make these and reading what how she is recommending it to be done um, I will put in the description how I made these for the quart size for one quart size I uh, think of pickles and I used seven cucumbers and it took almost all seven cucumbers to make uh, two quarts Cheers. And if you hear that heavy breathing and snoring, in the background is my roommate's big great Dane asleep on the couch. He sounds like an old man. And he's still a puppy. And that amount of fluid is actually pretty spot on. I mean, obviously I doubled the recipe because I'm using a quart, but um, yeah, because I've got like not really much left in there. Very cool. All right. All right, I will get these babies capped and I will get them in the fridge. I, I have my Instagram account linked to my YouTube. In a couple of days when I try them, I will post an update on them. So. If you're curious how they turned out, which one I like better, if I liked them at all, if I'm on the right path to the perfect pickle recipe, um, please, you know, feel free to come find me on Instagram and check it out. If you make it, please let me know how you liked it, what you do differently. If you are an expert at making refrigerator pickles or any other type of pickles and you have any tips or recipes, please share them. I would be more than happy to try them. Anyhow, uh, it's time for me to get to bed, so I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching bye i decided to throw him into the video too since i was just mentioned about him snoring he woke up a little bit because i came up to him but this is the young old man sleeping in the background snoring while i was making my video all right for real have a good night guys bye